Hello guys and welcome to Power Base Zone. Today we are going to discuss yet another important interview question which was asked in Wells Fargo and this particular question is actually asked in several other companies and it involves the use of the DAX substitute. The question is look at your screen you'll be having the first column which is alpha numeric right. So look at the structure of the column it has uh, you know uh, the alphabets and the numbers arranged in different fashion. If you see the first three rows, it begins with A H K and then you have 7649021 which is the numbers towards the end. And if you look towards the second last row, you'll have X5, Y6. That means this, um, for example, 5 is embedded between two alphabets, right? Uh, X and Y. So you will have, and the last row as well, which is 1, 2, 3, X, Y, Z and then 7, 8, 6, 9. So you have different arrangements of the alphabets as well as the numbers in alphanumeric code. So now the interviewer is only interested in getting the alphabets out of this. That is, reject the number and give me only the alphabet. So the output should be the column 2 which you are seeing called only alpha. Right? So I hope you are clear with the requirement. We will be using the DAX function called substitute to accomplish this and also if you guys are following my community in YouTube, you will be, uh, so I have asked this particular question which also uses the substitute, right? So we have to understand how the substitute work and we, using this substitute, first of all, we'll solve this particular uh, problem and then we'll go ahead and try to solve the other problems that I just showed you in our next video. So for this video, we'll just focus on the main problem which is getting the only alpha thing. Substitute DAX actually, this is the syntax, okay. So what is this? The first argument is obviously the column which uh, you will give and the second argument is the old text. What you want to replace? The new text is with which, what, with which you want to replace this, right? So if I want to replace United States of America with USA, so I'll put United States of America in the old text and USA in the new text, right? This is optional. Instance name is optional. So we will be using with the these three parameters only the first three parameters only so let us go ahead and see how you can go ahead and create a separate column uh, first with only the alphabets so i'll go over here and let me just minimize this i'll create a new column i'll call that only alpha equals and the logic that I'll be using is, look, I need only the alphabet. So what I'll do, I'll try to erase one one number from here, right? Very simple. So I'll use substitute. I'll start with the bottom. It says substitute. So I'll put the first argument as alphanumeric, my column name, comma. Then we'll go to what we want to replace. So first occurrence is zero, right? So we want to replace zero with what we want to replace we want to replace this with just blank right let us end this substitute and see what happens okay hope it is working fine look the first occurrence over here it has 9021 which is now 921 so it's working fine so as i did it for zero i have to do it for others as well so let, let me go ahead and do it for one now now don't worry i will go ahead and fast forward the video so that you guys are not bored I am seeing this nine times. By the way, we will be able to do this uh, using Power Query as well, right? But the interviewer specifically asked us to use a DAX and solve this.
ओके गाइज सो फाइनली दिस इज दी कॉलम दैट आई एम गेटिंग सो लेट्स क्विकली गो हेड एंड ऑब्जर्व इफ दिस इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो द फर्स्ट ऑपरेंस ए एच के इज वॉट वी नीड इट इज ऑमिटेड ऑल दिस सेवन सिक्स फोर नाइन जीरो टू वन the second occurrence bjy then followed by lpg over here in the fourth occurrence you have starting with j and you have kkk uu which is, it has done perfectly and over here the second last x y u i i o p this is also fine and the last occurrence which the x y z was inside two numbers it was able to pick up x y z perfectly so now we are okay with the number right so guys if you like my video do not forget to uh, like and also give your comments uh, in the comment section if you're not able to uh, you know comprehend anything and also let me know how my videos are because i'll be getting a lot of love and affection from you guys so i will try to make many more videos on power bi uh, you know uh, interview question and answers so guys if you are giving interviews uh, and specifically in power bi you can go ahead and email me uh the questions and i will try to make more videos which will help other members in this community to you know solve their power bi interviews as well so thank you so much for your time guys and till the next time we meet bye bye